Hey guys, this is Gemini and welcome to the next edition of my SE2 Mechanics Shorts videos. In this series, we go over different mechanical skills in the game and try to break them down into the most simple, concise ways so that way you can learn how to do them yourself. This video is going to focus on the good ways of how to use the F2 button in your game. A lot of times the F2 button has a lot of flack because it's used only as a crutch for your entire army control. However, here I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can use it to actually improve your gameplay and something that you should be using without any shame at all from all those F2 haters. Just as a side note, I'm calling it the F2 button just to refer to the overall select all army function in the game. It's just easier to say F2 and it's just something that most people do call it as. I myself use the alt key instead of F2 as F2 should be probably a camera location hockey for most of you. However, many people have it as different kinds of hockeys, but we'll just call it the F2 button for this video. Otherwise, hope you enjoy it and hope you learn something new. Here we go. The first tip is binding control groups. You can very easily bind different control groups with the F2 button by using the shift deselect and control click functions in the game. You can start by deselecting all of the units that don't go in your main hockey and then individually selecting the separate units to then assign to different hotkeys. The way we do this is by first using shift plus control to click away the units that we do not need in our main control group and then binding that control group. After pressing F2 again, we then want to control group the remaining other units by holding control and clicking on the unit to then add it to a separate hotkey. Remember to hit F2 before each separate unit that you want to control group. When done correctly, you will have multiple different hotkeys set up in a matter of seconds after using the F2 button. The next one is for control grouping rallying units. This is the tactic that I think has the most beneficial use out of it. It is something that I use in almost every game that I play. What you will be doing is using the F2 button to help control group rallying units across the map as they spawn. This is most useful when you're doing harassment based strategies or just strategies that revolve around units that are often being rallied out of your different production facilities at irregular times. Generally what you do is you listen for the sound cue of the unit that just finished building and then you go back on the minimap and you go and box select the unit to add into your control group. Instead what we can do is just use the F2 button and the control click function to get the same job done much faster. The way that we do this is extremely simple. All that you are doing is using the control click function like we were doing before and control clicking the unit in the UI after hitting F2. After doing that, you can either use the shift add command or you can just rebind the control group entirely. This is an extremely easy way to use the F2 button so that way you don't have to always move back to your production facilities to gain new units into your control groups. You can just do it right where you're looking at and you don't have to move at all. The third one is probably the simplest and most commonly used and that's just to find random units out across the map. A lot of times you'll be in a stressful game and you just lose track of a certain unit and you can use the F2 button to scour the bottom UI to just find the unit and bring it right back to where you need it to go. There's no real mechanical difficulty with this. All you're doing is hitting F2, clicking on the unit that you find in the UI, and then doing whatever you need to do with that unit. One little extra trick that can help with this is if you need to go directly to that unit is that if you click the portrait on the bottom right of the UI, that'll actually center your camera on that unit. Doing this makes it so that way you don't actually have to find where the unit is on the minimap and you can just go directly to that unit. Sometimes you'll need to control click the unit if there are more than one of them on the map somewhere and you don't know which one is the closest. For example, like observers, if you need vision really quickly. After you do that, then you'll be able to see the rest of them moving on the minimap and it should be pretty easy to just move them back to where you need them to be. Regardless, this tactic is still super useful whenever you're in a tough pinch and you need to find your units ASAP. The last one is kind of just a little extra one that I think is similar to the rallying tip that I mentioned in number three. And this is just for your first unit that's coming out of your production facility. This is really good for when you're doing scouting and micring your scout around the other side of the map and then you need your other unit to get across really quickly. You can just hit the F2 button and since it's the only non-worker unit that's spawned, it'll automatically get selected and then you can just instantly control group it and send it right across the map. Definitely makes dealing with these little micro interactions in the early game a little bit easier and a little bit more fluid. 
And there you have it. There's a couple easy ways that you can use the F2 button to improve your skill without relying on it as a crutch to move your entire army across the map. Hopefully these have been helpful, and if you have any questions, be sure to ask. Also, if you have any suggestions for other mechanical skills that I could break down in future videos, be sure to make a comment about that, and I can see about doing them. Otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.